Sure. All right. We're starting in a soybean field. It hasn't completely closed in the canopy yet, but the easiest way to start looking for soybean rust in any field is to start looking at the lower third of the canopy. So what you're going to want to do is as you move through the canopy, you're actually going to want to spread it apart almost as if you're doing the breaststroke through it. Move the canopy apart and look at the lower third. What you're looking for are yellowing leaves. Um, occasionally you'll get yellowing just due to, to natural shading, but that's the first place you're going to look because soybean rust will start to make the leaves senesce as the infection gains strength. So you're looking at the lower third of the canopy as you move through looking for groupings of spots or yellow leaves. In this case, I might pull and pull my hand lens and here is exactly what I'd be looking for, these groupings of spots. That there is soybean rust without even looking with a hand lens. Um, it does have a nice tan look and from the top you can also see the yellowish spotting here which tells me to definitely flip the leaf over and take a closer look with a hand lens. But again, this is from the lower third of the canopy, and that's the first place to start. As the infection progresses, um, it will move up through the canopy, especially if it's uh, especially humid or if it's been raining. Heavy, heavy rains tend to wash spores down through, and so the lower canopy will continue to be the only place infected. As humidity builds, though, and as it continues through the year, um, and especially as the canopy closes in and keeps relative humidity high within the closed canopy, the infection will move up through and eventually you can even find it in the top leaves.